Good afternoon, teachers. Wanted to give you a tutorial. Had some questions about setting up the gradebook with uh, category weights. Uh, if you go into your Power Teacher Pro and you look at grading, there is a categories section. If you hit categories, um, these are ones that I already created, but if you wanted to create a category, you could hit this plus here um, and you want to create a category. And let's say I want it to be, I'm going to name it fake because I want to get rid of it. And I want that category weight to be distributed in particular classes. Okay. So I want it in my sixth period and I want it in my seventh period. Okay. I'm going to click off that. I can change the color that I want um, for it. Let's say I want it to be gray. Um, and then I can go down here and go to save. Okay, now you're going to see that it's up here, but you can see that was only in class six and seven. If I have an issue and I did it wrong, I can always go back to edit um, and I can add it to that particular class. Okay, once I do that, then I have all of my categories set up. You can see that I have the setup for all my other classes. But now what I can do is go back to my settings and go to traditional grade calculations. I'm going to show you a way to save a lot of time if you have classes that you can copy things over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and find my sixth period, and I'm going to go to actions. And now what I want is it's a default to total points. Total points is fine, but if you want to do a category weighting, what you would do is you would click down here and you would say, okay, I want category weighting. And so for this class, maybe I want my testing quizzes to be 50%. And then I'm going to hit this plus. I'm going to hit category weighting again. And I'm going to choose the next category, homework classwork, 25. Okay. Then I'm going to hit the plus and I want to category weighting. My last one was labs and I want 25. Okay. Now, what you're going to see is this is kind of wonky and weird. Um, if you click off of it, it'll go back to the right percentages. I hit save. Okay. Now you can see only my semester one is actually set up that way. Okay, if you want to make sure that everything is set up that way, there's a very easy way. If you click through all of your classes, you can see that category weighting is put on for everything. Okay, I'm going to show an easy way to transfer that over. So let's say that I have my category weighting set up for semester one. I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to my little gear here, and I'm going to copy traditional grade calculations. What I do is I'm going to copy that within a class because I only have semester one set up. I want to I want to copy that to quarter one, quarter two, semester two, quarter three, and quarter four. So I'm going to I'm going to copy within a class, and I'm going to go from the one that I just set up. Okay, this was period six, and my reporting term was semester one. That's the one that I set up, and now I'm going to set that up for each and every one of the quarters. Okay, and I'm gonna hit validate. Okay, and this is very important. You gotta make sure you hit the copy. People see this up here on top and, and get rid of it. So you hit copy. And now what you'll see is every single one of those have now become category weighting with that same category weighting. Okay, now let's say that I have multiple classes that I wanna do that to. So um, now that I have period six set up um, and I wanna copy it over, I'm gonna hit tradi copy traditional grade calculations again. This time I want to copy it to another class. Okay, so I'm going to copy it to my seventh period. Uh, so I could go to term, okay, 2021. Uh, what class? I want it from my athletic director one. And on here, what I want to do is I don't have to click all of these. I'm going to put 2021. That's going to cover everything. So I'm going to click here. And what class do I want that to go in? Let's say I want it to go into my fifth period instructional partner and I want it to go into my athletic director. Okay. Um, I'm going to validate it, and then I'm going to press copy. And now what you're going to see is now my fifth period, my sixth period, and my seventh period have all received that same information, and the category weighting has been transferred over. Um, now that I know that grades, I mean, now that you know grades are coming up, uh, it's a good idea to check these. Okay, make sure that they're all the same. Otherwise, you're going to see something really weird in your grade book where a kid might have an F in quarter one and an F in quarter two, but then has an A in the semester grade. So I want to check these if you're having issues with that. Okay. Um, again, if you guys have any more questions, 
please don't hesitate to re reach out to Mr. Uh, Gonzalez and I, and we will uh, be happy to make some more um, tutorial videos on tips and tricks that can help you along. All right. Have a good day. See you guys later.